What is going on YouTube? This is Earl's Gaming Channel coming at you guys with a video on how to play with your PS4 controller on your PC. Now this is a very simple tutorial and very very simple tutorial actually. So let's jump right into it. First of all you are going to want to download and install WinRAR or 7-Zip. I will actually link a video down in the description on how to install WinRAR. Once you guys have that installed then you guys are going to come back to this video. Second step is you are going to want to download the drivers for this right here. Link will be down in the description. Just click on it, come here, and select your operating system. Now if you are running Windows 8 or Windows 10, you guys are going to want to click on Windows 7 and just download that. It works the same. Um, now if you guys are 32-bit, you're going to want to click here, 64-bit, and yeah, there you go. So I'm 64-bit, just click on that, and click on download. Now once it is done downloading, you're going to want to open it up, and let me try that again. There you go. And just click on yes. And I already have this installed on my computer, so I'm just going to exit out. Once you guys have that installed, you guys are going to come and download DS4 Windows. Now, link will be down in the description for this also. So just click on download now. And you're going to want to drag that to your desktop. And why is that still opened? So just drag that to your desktop. Right click on it and extract the files. I'm just going to extract it to my desktop, so just click on OK, and it should be right there. Now you guys can delete this, you guys can do whatever you guys want with this. I'm going to delete it. Now open up DS4 Windows, and double click on DS4 Windows. Now it's going to ask you where you want to save your settings and profiles. I'm going to save them in app data. So now you guys can plug in your PS4 controller. Um, mine is already plugged in so as you guys can see here is my controller it says the battery life and profiles so what you guys want to do is click on default new profile or you guys can just go over to profiles now there is a lot of um, settings that you can do with your controller in this you guys can mess with your rumble um, you guys can check out all this you guys can mess with all your um, controls which your controls are already at what they should be so I wouldn't mess with your controls when you guys open up a game your controls work you guys don't have to play with any of that but the funnest thing on here is messing with the, co the colors so you guys can actually go rainbow color and once you guys have messed with all this and you guys like the setup you guys want to come up here and save it as a profile so I'm going to name this profile Earl now you're going to want to save the profile and it'll go back to controllers now don't go back to controllers go back to profiles and you guys will see your new profile right here. Now what you're going to want to do is right click on it and assign it to controller 1. And as you guys can see, well you guys can't really see, but if you guys did it, you guys can see your controller switching the colors and that's how you guys know it's working. Thank you guys for watching. Now you guys can just minimize this when you guys play the games. And if your controller ever does stop working when you guys plug it in, you guys just want to open this back up and double click on DS4 Windows again and just pop this up and minimize it. And now you guys are ready to play some games with your new PS4 controller. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more awesome videos. Later, guys.